Hi, Jamie D with JJ Paranormal, and today is third Wednesday, September 5th, 2016. I was going to do my Untagged Tuesday yesterday, but I ran out of time, so I'm doing it today. I'm doing actually three different sessions that I am going to break up into three different videos. <coughs> One is the open session um, for, you know, Untag Tuesday, where I've got some participants that have sent some pictures in and have some questions. So I've got their folder here. And then I'm doing a session um, to follow up on the John Benet Ramsey, my uh, voices from beyond. That's uh, the series I was starting last year where I outlined 12 um, different you know, cases that were either cold cases or just unsolved mysteries type things and I wanted to do um, kind of an introduction on that and then uh, do a, a, a ghost box session with that and it so happens that they because of the anniversary they started playing um, a bunch of different series on TV lately and uh, Dr. Phil had an interview with a brother. The first one I did, I had a volume problem and in fact, so I wasn't very happy with that and I also <clears throat> wanted to see that interview. So I got to see the interview. I got some suggestions from Martin. Um, see how that works and so I'm going to kind of redo that session so that will be broken down in its own will be the Jean Benet Voices from Beyond and then the third session is for Gail who I've been working with um, for, with missing person Brittany Hall and she has a small search team um, that's been actively looking they were going to search today or yesterday but because of the whether they couldn't dig or you know go out there and with that I'm really trying to like pinpoint where she actually can be so um, they also have another case of a woman in New York and this is a new one so um, I'm going to be doing that also and that'll be its own. Um, so I've got notes on my phone. I've got two different notebooks here. Um, I'm trying to be as organized as I can having three things going on. Let me turn this off. But the vibe's been really good. And the energy's been very, very good. <clears throat> hello, hello. Inside. 
back home. I think I got wires touching, but I got wires everywhere right now. There's all this stuff. Is there anything I can do to make it better? Blast me. Please don't blast it. No, it just annoys me. Okay. I don't know how this is going to sound bad. Yeah, whatever was wrong, it's not fixed. 
some people first and then talk about Brandy. Is that okay? I guess we're doing Brandy first, name's A Control. I don't have the map up. Is Brandy off of Prosperity Lane? Brandy off, cross out there, out where Ga Gail is going. It the process. Are they in the right spot? Not at all. Are her and her friend search party in the right spot? I have the flashlight turned on to the light. Look for to find her. Uh, because she's she's going to be digging. I mean, it wasn't even a lot. 
Gasoline. It's the Bell from 
they have equipment and they're able to to do it. They have, they have to know where. Okay, well, should we talk about the other missing person? Yeah, they were gunshots heard before the car was caught on fire. Who shot the gun? Did her husband have anything to do with it? He's not a suspect, but did he hire somebody? This we're talking about her. <laughs> She's been missing since September 30th, 2008 from Amsterdam, New York. Classified endangered missing. She was born December 16, 1972. Blood. Of a male. She was 35 at that time. 5'10", 135 pounds. Her name's Kelly Sue. Caucasian female, brown hair, brown eyes, may wear glasses. With tan frames, highlights, red highlights in her hair, pierced ears, and a patch on her right cheek. This is Kelly Sue. Where's Kelly Sue? There's a fast description of what happened. Um, Did I miss you? I guess that is the one I was looking for. Um, she was last seen leaving a job at the Rite Aid 
in Amsterdam, New York at 9.30 p.m. The night that he was... The night that he was... September 30, 2008. Work. She worked as a shift supervisor. At 1.53 a.m. the next day, her dark green, 98, evil white man, 98 Saturn Aurora sedan, with the New York license plate, was found in Frog Hollow just off of West Montgomery, Montgomery Street in Johnsontown, New York. This was just three blocks from our home, but it wasn't on a route she normally traveled. The car had been set on fire and was still burning when it was found. It was completely destroyed. It has been a rocky. Neighbors called the police about shots fired in the area at midnight. There was no sign of her at the scene, and she's never been heard of again. She lived with her daughter, her husband, and his parents when she disappeared. Her marriage was troubled when she disappeared. But her loved ones stated she never would have left without making arrangements for the care of her daughter. Her parents are dead, but she had a close relationship with her siblings. Husbands not consider suspect in her case. Her disappearance remains unsolved. Okay, I also read that she was depressed and recently stopped her medications before um, she became missing. So I have a theory perhaps too that I'm going to ask about. There is nothing. The United Kingdom. The war in Vietnam. Okay. Where is Kelly Sue? Do you know where Kelly Sue is? License plate. Who knows where she is? No data. You know, slaves. Of course, the cat. He propaganda. He's starting to do stuff because he sees the possible I'm doing stuff. Hey, Dave. Whenever stuff starts to come around, the cat starts to get protective. It's okay, he's just looking around. 
and just don't shoot or drop anything. Who knows where Kelly Sue is? Dead or alive. Day, stop. Day, day, no. No. Day, day, you're gonna have to go in the other room. be something trying to come through because he's sorry day day I had to put him in a room is Kelly Sue dead or alive Say she's already found. Where is she? she is. What happened after she left work at Rite Aid that night? What happened? What happened when she left to work that night? Did someone call her to stop and meet? Or see her on the road and wave her over? Or mitochondrial. That's DNA that she would get from her mother. Was she robbed at all? I, I just didn't read that anywhere. Was she robbed? Um, I don't even know if she had a cell phone. If they checked to like cell phone tower pings or not. How many people are responsible for her going missing? Was this planned out? 
Republic That is the Be good boy. Be good boy. Be good boy. Did she stage her own disappearance? I'm asking this now because of what I read about her medication. The fact that she would not want to leave her daughter unattended or, or look like she just walked out what if she was so completely depressed and didn't want her family to think it was them and, and she couldn't take it anymore and she hired her own hitman and that's why they heard the gunshots. Her car was in a different spot a little bit. Um, and they moved her body. I want to know if they checked the car to see if the seat had been moved since it was in a different route. If she drove it, I mean, someone else still could have left it. The police. So, everywhere. Did she somehow st stage her own disappearance or hire her own hitman? What they're doing to our the neighbors heard that night was it related to her Was the car burned to hide evidence? Of the amazing... And the stuff? It's a cop! Drinking. Or was it a stage? 
all this stuff. Would you have world war? She worked with the likes. Suspect. I don't practice. He could have still orchestrated this and paid someone to kill her. Or if someone owed a favor. Did he orchestrate it somehow? He best selling Shots. Oh, I see you right. I saw you just go in front of the other camera. I'll have to watch that one back. Secrets the key. Of who's responsible? Now, do you like them? Because if she was depressed, she couldn't have shot herself and set the car on fire, and then her body would be gone, so somebody had to have yeah. Well, unless she just stayed and ran off. Is she alive? Kelly. Kelly Sue. At cybersecurity. Where did her body go? Police do with civil Yes, I know. At the end. 
What type of medication did she take? And they were just good. Did she secretly self-medicate? Got to take a rocket. Sink that. Weird. Taking this guy. You're over there on. But the. Her husband was acting more concerned about the difference in the income at that point. About her check now not coming. Oh, It was very well done. Of the United States. They also, let's see, um, the brother-in-law kicked um, thought it was odd that Jason, the brother-in-law, was... Okay, go ahead, thank you. Was wearing his Sir Williams Johnson volunteer fire department clothes while passing out missing person flyers. Does he know anything? Does Kelly Sue have any messages? Made up a book. You don't see it is but but what a next level that is. How's they go through the Sorry guys. I don't know, but I had to run to the restroom. Sometimes I like to hear what they say when I'm away. Does she have any messages for anybody? Where is she? Really good. I don't know. Okay, does Brandy or I am Does Brandy have any messages for Gail to help find her? Very, very gentle. We really need a clue where to look. Okay. Now I'm going to stop this session. And then we're going to do the other ones. We're going to do the open session next. So would you like to count down with me well, and then we'll turn the volume down <laughs> to get the next one ready? Thank you for all your help. Three. Two. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Oh, okay, okay. That's how I said yeah. All right, we'll listen to that back. Um, and I know for the New York one, um, he wanted it annotated also, but um, I'm going to play this first and let other people listen to to help, um, you know, m mark responses and things um, because I, I do have several uh, projects right now that I actually need to be um, annotating and reviewing, so it'll be hard to review it all by myself and, um, you know, go through all the responses. So if um, everybody can listen back and then let me know what the cat's up there, what you think that you hear and mark it. Just let me know, like, at what mark you hear this and that. Um, then, you know, I can edit it and just go off the list and um, type it right in. So, all right, we'll see how that works. And I'm going to take a quick break before the next one. Put some burn cream on here and settle the cat down. So hopefully we got something here. And thank you, Brian, uh, Gail, for all you're doing to help, you know, find these people, these women, um, you're a very special person. So, love and light.